Hey guys, it's Chef Spotting. I'm here with another video, and today we're going to be going over leveling and where to go next. Another one of the biggest questions I have inside the channel um, is Chef, I'm at Lone Star, where to go next? Chef, I'm in Everglades, where to go next? I'm here, where to go next? What to do? What is, what's the best place to go? What fish do I go after? So that's what we're going to be going after. Um, we're going to be sitting right here on the map, going through each one of them. So you're going to start off with Lone Star, obviously. Um, my suggestion, going up to level 10. I did make a video on that. Um, leaving here at level 10, getting the setup, going over to Emerald Lake. At Emerald Lake, um, leveling up, getting up to at least level 14, getting some money up there. But staying over there till you can at least get the 55-pound keep net. So level 15. Level 15 then gives you the 55 pound. Is going to be you're going to be able to get the 7.5 pound max weight, or you can stay over there and get the 55 pound net. That you can get the 11 pound uh, max fish weight, which would be the better buy. Or you can hold off and go for the 66 pound. But I suggest going just for the 55 pound and just staying at Emerald and really sucking in all that 300 400 dollar fish each one it's not that hard to get this money super easy um after that you're going to go from emerald uh, my suggestion would be going from emerald to falcon falcon you got a lot of different trout in here you can use the same spinning setup that you had at um emerald you don't have to buy anything you can see there's not very many fish here, but there's a lot of them. You can go for smallmouth bass. You can go for the trophy browns, the trophy cutthroats, the uniques, and red bands, and the rainbow trouts. Um, really good money there uh, overall. After that, leaving from Falcon, you can go over to Everglades, start doing bass. I do have a video of... Um, Unique bass spots over here. Uh, I also have a Falcon Lake video coming soon on where to catch different the, the main spots of where to catch trout and the bass at. After Everglades, um, you're gonna sit over here until you hit level 30. Level 30 is a time that you're gonna be going over to Saint Croix Lake. Saint Croix is where you're gonna be sitting for a while. You're gonna be sitting in Saint Croix till probably level 30. 8 to 40. I would suggest at least until you hit um, 40 to where you can get a decent bottom rod setup to where you're going to move over to California. Now, you don't have to sit on pike the entire time. I do have a video showing um, where the pike spot is, what is a good setup to do that at level 30, um, how much it costs and everything. So definitely check that out, that out if you're on going from the Everglades to St. Croix. After St. Croix, you get up to level 38 to 40. My again, suggestion would be 40. Going over to the Delta. You're going to be doing Sturgeon. Sturgeon is going to give you a huge buff on um, XP and cash. It does get tiresome on what to do. I do have a video on the channel of where to catch those um, Sturgeon at. Um, and how easy it is and what different baits you can use so definitely check that out if you're on that stage now at delta is where it gets weird okay you have several different places you can go to you do open white moose but white moose has giant lake trout and stuff that you can't travel you can't really catch at a lower level you can but the large ones are a pain in the ass to bring in canique you got chinook salmon that are very you know large fish but you need a large casting rod. So at the Delta, you can get that. You come up here, travel, enjoy your time up here. But the ability to have this open and have this cash flow at this point gives you the ability to start going to every different map that we have on here except for Blue Crab and a couple others that you won't have open yet. After you 
have reached this, your next main map, or sorry, level that you want to get to, the next main step is going to be level 50 on which you're going to be going to weeping. In between level 40 and 50, go nuts here. You know, travel back to the Everglades, have fun doing bass. Go to Quanchkin experiment with the catfish, with the gar, um, white moose doing trout, uh, Alaska doing the different types of salmon, the topwater salmon, the midwater salmon, the bottom salmon. Um, the, they got a, a couple different trout. They got pike. Um, if you, you know, want to go back to Falcon, maybe if you skipped over Rocky or Mudwater, or, you know, Nihiran. Nihiran's another great lake that you can go over and, and do some grinding at if you get tired of, of some of these other ones. But my suggestion would be going from Lone Star, Emerald, Emerald to Falcon, Falcon to Everglades, Everglades to St. Croix, St. Croix to Delta, Delta to Weeping Willows. After Weeping Willows, you're going to move up to Blue Crab, Blue Crab to Maku Maku. That's the suggestion. But after you hit the Delta and you start getting that real money in, that big fat paycheck, $3,000 a fish, really you can do whatever the heck you want. You know, start earning up, you know, earning to get those big nets, the big rods and reels, the big everything uh, put together. Um, other than that, enjoy yourself. Take your time with the game. Don't try to rush yourself through all this leveling or, you know, really stressing yourself out. Have fun. Doing, you know, you get bored catching that one fish over and over. Explore with some other lures. Explore with this and that. Just don't overdo it. Don't go through and purchase every single different lure and expect to try it because a bunch of them will not work for the level that you're at. Do a little, you know, hunting. Maybe hit me up on my, my Twitch channel if you have any questions. Um, I do stream Tuesday through Saturday every week unless something pops up. Uh, you can find me at TTV underscore Chef Spalding 01 on Twitch. If you have any other questions or comments, put it in the video or put it in the comment box below. Um, other than that, have a great day, tight lines, and I will talk to you later.